yourself. We'll go down the line. Start with Miss Great. Hi guys, my name is Sung Wall. I work at savings.com. Uh, quick bio is uh, I'm currently in business development and partnerships, kind of launching our new affiliate program at savings.com. Also the creator of the first, I would say, sexiest WordPress plugin to help send you details. Uh, before savings, I worked at Lynchair for about four years uh, as a director of strategic accounts. So hopefully I can bring some sort of perspective of uh, who Savings is as a super publisher or affiliate, uh, as well as sort of what advertisers are looking for. Uh, my name is Jenna Walker. I work at Perk Street Financial. Um, I moved from Toronto in summer of 2009 to Boston, where Perk Street's located, to join uh, Perk Street in its infancy. Um, if you're not aware, Perk Street is an unbank. Uh, we're hoping to bring innovation to the industry by offering a truly unique product um, that actually uh, focuses on customer value. Um, I contribute to this by spearheading our affiliate um, program, um, as well as I develop and optimize our paid digital advertising, essentially working on the core marketing team at Perk Street. Uh, when I'm not at Perk Street, I love to watch hockey. Um, I'm Canadian, so that's, that's a given. And I also love to try new food. Hi everyone, my name is Allison Wass. I think I met most of you giving out t-shirts last night. But I'm with CreditCards.com, uh, NCS, and Bankrate, our, our parent company. And I can't, kind of what I bring to the table here is I've been in affiliate marketing for over 10 years. I've been a publisher and uh, currently now I'm an advertiser. I run a partnership program for CreditCards.com uh, uh, where I power credit card channels for certain clients such as Yahoo, uh, LendingTree, uh, lower my bills, as well as we run two other programs through uh, Commission Junction and uh, Google Affiliate Network, and so I handle all of that. Um, so I deal with uh, large and small partners, um, and I guess a little personal information. Uh, I'm originally from California. I live in Austin, Texas. It's hotter than heck there, and uh, I have two dogs, two pugs, Pookie and Moose. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Steve Hammer. Uh, my job is Director of Search at Ace Cash Express. Uh, that means I'm responsible for uh, all the traffic that's driven to this site. So that includes uh, not only the affiliate relationships, which uh, are something we're trying to grow, but search engine optimization, search engine marketing. Uh, we've been growing our traffic by 50% a year, and uh, also the, uh, the search in particular program has grown by 100%. We're now launching into the affiliates to continue to grow that traffic. Uh, as you probably know, our products are prepaid debit cards and uh, payday lending, uh, both of which have affiliate relationships are on the CJ network right now. Uh, please apply. Um, oh, that was a pinch. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I almost got this close. We can't help it. Uh, and I guess I have to come up with an interesting fact. Although I am not Canadian, I do like hockey. Uh, Dallas Stars. Um, and in general, I collect wine, which is a, a fun and expensive. Um, they each have a, a quick two-minute slide to present to talk about uh, their affiliate programs and kind of like how uh, us as bloggers can uh, use affiliate marketing to make some money. First up, I believe, is Steve. Yes, uh, correct. And now the, the first bullet point up here is about addressing the elephant in the room. Uh, our product is a short-term product. It is not a long-term product. It is not meant to be a long-term product. I know many many bloggers write about uh, you know frugality and things like that. So to talk about something like payday lending seems you know very wrong. Um, but it does have purposes, and in particular, if you look at most people that use it, they are uh, they're using it because they don't want to get their light switched off. So and it's meant to be a one period thing. The example that I always use to compare it to is a hotel room that we spent uh, $82 a night. No one complained about it. That's a great rate, right? That's $30,000 a year. But nobody says we're going to go to this hotel and that's $30,000 a year. If you own the short-term nature of it, you're, you're talking about the product in the right way. People shouldn't be in it for a long period of time. So I just wanted to literally get the elephant in the room out of the way. Beyond that, um, I think it's worth mentioning that you have to know your target. If your target is talking about 401ks, it's probably not the product. It, it's probably not the right product to talk to them about. It might be a better prepaid debit card fit. If you know your target, you know how to talk to them. And that goes for your customer's target as well. 
So if you understand what the customers, um, and I mean by that, the, the merchant, us, what we're trying to seek, and you can see those those matches, that's where the best sort of fit is going to happen. Uh, beyond that, transparency. Uh, it's particularly important in my industry. If you know the rates and things that are out there, um, people people want that information. Comparators or, or other things, I think, go great in, in any part of this industry because that transparency is something you can offer. It's a value-added service. The more information you're giving the customer before they get to an affiliate website. Um, as I said, sell rationally is always a good thing. Money is a rational space. It's, it tends not to be emotional. Um, you know, as we've talked about a little bit earlier, it's hard to to sell um, and tell the story in a lot of cases, and that's where the certainly where the magic happens. But at the end of the day, it's a rational decision. So if you're selling things on a rational um, decision, particularly in payday lending, you're comparing it to an overdraft fee because that's really what it's comparable to, um, and that is a more expensive option than what we offer. And above all, um, as you work with affiliates or affiliate managers, um, they're there to help you. Um, you all got a card in your your bag somewhere. You'll find it buried. That's uh, that's my affiliate manager's card. Uh, he's there to answer your questions about anything related to our program, and he's extremely responsive. So um, those guys are there to help you. They can give you information on what the demographics are, what what the product cycle is, interesting features, calculate the rates almost anything you can imagine um, to try and get some of those, uh, those data pieces across to make your content that much better. Thanks, Dave. Uh, next up is Allison. So I'm going to talk a little bit more on the general, uh, not specifically uh, the blogger, but kind of general uh, what an affiliate manager is looking for in a site. And um, my first point is know your site's demographics. Uh, you know, we all have uh, kind of the elevator speech on what our site does, but um, I come up to, a lot of people come up to me and, and I'll say, well, what's your demographics? Everybody, no, not everybody. <laughs> well, everybody needs a credit card. Yes, yes, that's true. But I can tell you my sweet spot is males, females from 25 to 55 who have good credit and above and they carry a balance. That's my sweet spot. I don't need people to pay off their credit cards uh, every month because they're not uh, caring about their uh, their interest rate. So, uh, and it plays on your things. Know your target audience. You've got to know who you're speaking to, um, and you're not speaking to just everybody in the world who has a credit card. Um, know your credit card category interests per your audience. Like I said, my sweet spot is always balance transfer. Well, actually, quarter four uh, is instant approval and people are looking for credit cards for the holidays. So that's my sweet spot, that's what I'm going to market to. Um, Q1, uh, quite frankly, is balance transfer. So that's where I'm going, to, I'm going to switch my marketing over to balance transfer because people have their New Year's resolutions, they're going to want to you know, get their finances in order, and they want to lower their interest rate. So um, uh, my second point is to be patient. Uh, Card issuers, uh, if you come to a, well, for my channel, card issuers are on their own time. Sorry, card issuers, if you're anybody in here. Uh, you, you know, we can apply to, we apply for your program, apply for your website, um, and it's whenever they want to approve you. So you kind of have to be patient, um, especially with the larger uh, card issuers. Um, and the other is not every click turns into a sale. Uh, and with that, uh, I will get people who email me and say, well, I've, I've given you 10 leads. Um, unfortunately, in this channel, we're waiting on a lot of approvals and, think, and, and card issuers. So um, not everyone turns in, not every lead turns into a, 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 a sale. And that sale can take a little bit longer. Um, Let's see, I'll, I'll hurry it up a little bit. Um, be affiliate marketing savvy. Um, know which keywords. That's really important now because um, banks are watching. And so e even if you don't get on keywords or you're thinking about you know, doing a PPC campaign or AdWords or something, getting your you know, uh, toe in the water, know which ones you can and can't bid on. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. Um, if, you, if you're bidding on keywords that you, you can't bid on, you might get kicked out of the program. You don't want to do that. Um, and so if you um, can, you know, do your SEO homework, 
you know, do your tags, do all that stuff, and this is basic for you guys. And keep it simple. Um, when somebody's applying to my uh, to my program, and I check every single website, all of my partners. So I don't need a lot of loud music, flash coming in and out. Um, to me, that's just a lot of noise. And I want I want uh, the content to be relevant. And um, one of my pet peeves with, with bloggers, I'll be quite honest with you guys, is um, they'll apply to my program, and they haven't updated their site till, since like 2007. It's like, if you're not current, I, I can't help you here. So, you know, keep your site current. Thank you so much. Who's next? So. Hey guys, uh, so I, I took the approach of saying you guys are all startups. You're all entrepreneurs. So here, here's what I have to say. I, I, think, I think there are three main points uh, to help you guys uh, talk to advertisers. Um, and, and to those that, that are new, uh, really just understand, hey, how do I get the foot in the door? And I think the first step is increasing your audience. I think everyone has a goal. We have, we have monetization talks. I won't get into that. But if you guys are startups, I'm going to treat you like startups. I'm going to hold you accountable to the same metrics that startups are. What's your lifetime value of everybody that goes to your site? What's the number of engagements? How, 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 look at Jay Money, right? The budgets are sexy. Uh, he, he writes posts and people are, are, are replying like that. Um, know your metrics. Uh, increase your audience. Increase repeat visitors. Um, so we talk about that later, but I think increasing your audience is, 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 is a general goal, uh, but know the right metrics. And the reason I'm harping on the metrics is, is my next point, right? Our relationships. When you go to these people and you go to these conferences, you, you have a pitch. And it's not going to be, hey, I have a great blog and it's new. Um, everyone does, to be honest. But when you say, hey, this is my engagement, this is my lifetime value, this is how long people are on the site, this is why I have repeat visitors, that means, that means intent. And advertisers love that. They want the intent. That's why you guys are different than everybody else. Um, so the relationships, be transparent. Go to CJU, go to LinkShare, or suppose to me if you can. Come to conferences like this. How do you get the foot in the door? I heard you a lot last time. You, you, come, you come here and you network. And this is where deals get done. This is where you talk to those networks and you meet that affiliate manager. So you meet the affiliate manager, you have your metrics, and then I think something that's super underrated, especially for bloggers, is ask for a test. You know what? Show them that you can do it. Um, at savings.com, we ask for tests all the time. Say, hey, you know what? We're not working with uh, Victoria's Secret or, or JCPenney or, or someone like that. We say, hey, give us two months. Let me show you what I can do. Here are my metrics. So ask for tests. Um, and I think the last thing is brand equity. Uh, I apologize uh, for my reverence here, but every advertiser thinks they're the shit. Um, and no, no offense to you guys. Um, so th but that being said, every blogger almost looks like a NASCAR blogger, but lots of bloggers look like NASCAR. So to back Grant's point, keep it simple. Um, you know, uh, everyone has a stake in, in, in their brand. So how, we need to find a middle ground. So keep your blog simple. Um, and, and make sure that you share the same, the same, uh, you know, uh, sort of equity with, with the advertiser. And I, I guess I'll leave you with this: is, is be true to your voice. I think we're, we're hearing that a lot, right? So look at someone like Donna Freeman, right? You can hear her voice when you meet her, and she has her jokes. But you also hear her on her blog. Uh, be true to that. Remember, you're there because you guys have intent. Advertisers want that; they need that. They'd rather work with you than a comparison shopping engine or, 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 or coupon site. So you guys are very powerful, and I say be, be, be true to that, know your metrics, meet them, ask for a test, and hopefully those are some, some things that might happen. Jenna? Yeah, so I mean, my goal here really is to help you make the most money out of the time that you're an affiliate um, with whatever advertiser. Um, so I'll be talking about how to seek out active companies, how to get comfortable with the product that you're selling. Um, and also how to be accurate to be um, an effective writer. Um, so for active companies, there are obviously thousands of merchants to choose from. We know that. You need to seek out the advertisers that are support and are willing to work with you in the affiliate programs. Um, work with companies that are not looking to outsource all of the, all of the effort to the network reps. Um, take, but take the time personally to keep you up to date on what's going on with the company, and I think that's really important. Um, find advertisers that are actively engaged in helping you do your job better. Talk to others at the event this weekend and find out who you respect, who they're working with. Blogging is about trust, and you need to trust who you're working with. Um, next, moving on to getting comfortable with the product that you're selling. Knowing what sets the product apart in the market, and also how to set different products you're selling in the same space apart from one another will help you deliver a clear message. 
we realize that you're selling multiple financial products, including money debit cards, and you know, including Perk Street. Um, but you have to know the unique value proposition of each product that you're selling in order to convey their worth. Also, it helps to know what it's like to be an actual customer. Your visitors are avid readers of your blog because they trust what you have to say. Um, you know, we were, sorry. Um, telling your customers that you trust the product enough that you're going to use it yourself will transfer the trust they have for you into the trust for the product, which will, you know, in turn um, be an effective selling method. Um, there's obviously a caveat. You cannot be a customer for every single product that you endorse or that trust will fall by the wayside. So be careful about the ones that you choose to be a customer for. For an example, you know, a lot of our successful posts come from our bloggers that are also Perk Street customers. Telling your readers that you're earning $1,300 a year on a card is a compelling story, and this principle can apply to any quality financial product. Um, next, knowing how the company effectively sells the product itself is a great asset. Put in some work, do the research, find out how the company sells the product itself outside of the affiliate space, because other things that they put in money into will successfully sell the product for you. Make sure to engage with the companies that are willing to provide you these things and provide you those talking points that help them sell their product in other spaces. Um, finally, being accurate um, is effective in the online marketplace. Read the guidelines and terms of use that are provided to you in the affiliate program. Being accurate will make you an effective affiliate for the company you work for and a good educator for your readers. It's so easy to skip over the terms of use. We know they're arduous, we're, we know they're annoying to read, um, but they're there for a reason. You're not you know, updating your iTunes program. You're agreeing to accurately representing a product and you should be taking that seriously. You have to be clear about this stuff because honestly, financial products are confusing and you want to be delivering the clearest message to your customers. Um, being accurate will also make your advertisers, advertisers love you even more. By sticking to the terms provided by the company, this allows the affiliate manager to shift you know, time from reaching out to try and correct misinformation that you've pushed out into the blogosphere um, into providing you with actual profitable opportunities like giveaways and bonuses. Um, I actually received some great feedback last night from some of our affiliate um, bloggers. They said, you know, we don't actually read a whole ton of terms and conditions because they are just so long. You know, I said, would you be willing to read them if they're a little bit more concise? And they agreed. So, you know, I'm going to do my part when I get home to Boston, make them a little bit shorter, and hopefully, you know, this increases, you know, the people willing to actually go and read these terms that we spend a long time writing and there are reasons that they're there. Um, so, you know, I hope everyone's having a great time and you're learning a lot. Um, if you have any questions after the panel, feel free to ask me. Um, and we also have a booth set up, Perk Street has a booth set up outside of the salon on the left here. Uh, we have some time for some, some questions. Does anybody have any questions for our panel? Highly engaged audience. Well, actually, I have one. I think we covered everything because uh, widespread is doing this too. Uh, for uh, uh, affiliate marketing is really, really popular right now, and uh, we're all very aware of the credit cards and financial services out there. Um, this question is specifically for I guess savings.com because the daily deals and the local deals and the grocery coupons that's a really big market and. How can us PF bloggers kind of cash in on that as well, as in addition to the credit cards and the other financial services? No, uh, I think that's a great question. I think uh, I think you're right. I think you know with Groupon and their 20 IPOs or whatever's happening, and uh, in the space, it's, it's it's a lucrative space. And uh, I think you guys have a distinct advantage because you guys are talking to these people that want to change their lives. Bro, a lot of them are. Uh, they, they want to live frugally, they, they want to be smart about the money, they want to get out of debt. And I think that's a great intersection between deals and discounts uh, and, 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 and spending wisely. Uh, and you know, I think a great example is someone like, like, like Pino from, from Mulanomy, who, who we work with. Um, you know, highly engaged audience, um, and he's speaking about everything. Um, and we found this great intersection uh, because everyone wants deals, um, not necessarily spend, you know, when you don't, you don't have it, but I, I think we're, we're finding a lot of traction 
uh, off of science TV like like Wise Bread or, or even Mint. You know, these are highly engaged audiences that want that, that want that discount. They're just looking for it, and you guys are, are where they are. So I think where, where those two worlds are, are meeting uh, is is um, it is really right there. Great content, original content from you guys, and deals and coupons uh, in the form of, of, of savings for for your audience that wants it. So I think I think it's actually a it's a perfect storm right now. from Frugal Confessions. Um, I just have a question as far as what you think the threshold is for audience size when affiliate marketing becomes effective on a blog. You know, I think it varies per company. Um, we each have different messages that we're trying to get across. Um, if you're looking for a specific volume number for the blog, I mean, in order for typically for a company like Park Street to potentially see any conversions for you guys, it has to be, you know, you know, ten thousand plus unique visitors a month. Uh, for credit cards and CS, it's a little lower uh, because we realize that it's you guys are just, you know, as you said, you're entrepreneurs. And a lot of you are just starting your blogs, or you've only been a year into it. Um, and we actually, if you're going to be talking about credit cards, um, about 50 uh, page views a month we start out with, um, because we know that you guys have to build an audience. Um, but you know, it can grow, um, you know, within that. So um, it's, it's actually a little bit lower threshold for that. But I mean, I should I should add something on top of that. Um, you know, Perk Street is, is obviously, and a lot of other companies are completely willing to start, you know, working with those companies that are looking to get in the space. Um, and, you know, I've developed a lot of personal relationships with a lot of startup blogs. And, you know, we've ended up, by working together, bringing a lot of blogs to that level. So I wouldn't necessarily, you know, don't take that, you know, at face value um, at all. Um, a lot of companies will be willing to work with you no matter how many visitors you bring in if they believe in you know what you're saying on your blog. Ask for a test. They'll give it to you. Yeah. Have your metrics. Ask for a test. Say, try me out for two months. Absolutely. Then don't, don't. But you know, you haven't lost anything. I think. Yeah. Hey, it's Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com. Uh, we don't want to save our readers money, but us as bloggers, we want to save time and money too. What would you say are the highest converting ways, methods, and strategies that your existing publishers are using to convert these uh, offers? Can I, can I do the layup? Yeah, we, I, I'm sorry, this is pitchy, but we'll, we'll talk about later. Um, at the end of the day, and I say this from experience, we have a, uh, a WordPress plugin, right? So at the end of the day, it's, your audience is this big and they have lots of content, and sometimes you don't even know what your audience is going to click on, right? How do you know what merchants your audience wants? Um, it's getting that information, knowing your metrics. Uh, so we actually created a WordPress plugin we can talk about it later uh, that pretty much puts our, our deals on your site uh, in plugin form. And what that allows you to do is look at the metrics on a monthly basis and say, wow, I actually have readers like going to you know, Home Depot. I didn't know that. So knowing your audience, so I think that's one of the biggest things is get out there and work with as many people as you can. Uh, that's from sort of an affiliate you know, sort of side of the house. Maybe you guys talk about that. Then I'll do a little sales pitch for my editorial uh, department. At uh, creditcards.com, a lot of people don't know that, but we have a full editorial staff. And I know, you know, sometimes, let's say, you know, life just gets busy and you can't, you know, blog that week, something's happened. You know, we have approximately over 600 uh, different articles uh, related to all types of credit. Um, and within those articles, we've actually put in embedded links uh, for our partners um, so that if somebody clicks, if, if the article's about interest rates and, and Chase is mentioned or cities mentioned, um, we actually have links that will go to the category page. Um, and if people click on, apply, and get approved, uh, we give you a CPA. So that converts better than... For example, email marketing or just putting up banners and stuff? Um, email marketing for my, my vertical, I can't speak for the others. It has to be very specific. Um, I find that generic offers, such as just driving traffic to my category pages, like uh, balance transfer, doesn't work as well as if I have a balance transfer card. And that's kind of iffy with the credit card issuers. You've got to really, a lot of them don't allow sub-affiliates or partners um, to email market. So you have to get that, I, have to, I actually have to get that approved for you. So, 
um, but you know we're up here to uh, work with you and um, within my network I can build text links I, we can build I, I don't can't speak for everybody else but um, I can build banners you know the co-brand um, I'm willing to I'm willing to work with you and I'm willing to help you and that's what we're all here is um, you know I said it last night at the, at the cocktail party and I, and I think I, I really mean it you know we're here to help you make money and when you make money we make money and I'm happy to write the big checks so you know talk to your affiliate managers and um, build that relationship because we're here to help you we're not you know we're here to answer the emails and to answer the phone calls um, and my philosophy is no questions it's silly so you might as well just send me an email thank you appreciate you I, I was going to add one more there <clears throat> ratings and reviews and comparators work really well for us particularly where you look at our prepaid debit card product, it has a 5% savings rate attached. If you transfer money to that, most people are aware of that. So when people write up a rating and review of that, you've got somebody that's really particularly interested in that product right away, and the conversion rate just goes through the roof. And check and see um, if they have modules. We have like a rates chart that has a national average of all the credit, different credit cards or um, credit card categories. So we've got widgets and tools. Um, so, you know, so to add to your blog. I'm, I'm sure Perk Street probably has some calculators and things like that as well. Yeah, we have some content modules that, you know, compare our product against, you know, other products that, in the space um, that we're happy if you want to, you know, use, you know, even the exact table that we have on our site. Um, whatever helps you. Um, definitely giving specific information about the product and comparing it to, you know, what people are used to potentially hearing, you know. Well, Perk Street's a startup. We have a lot in common with a lot of you guys. Um, we're trying to get our name out there, and a lot of you guys are trying to get your name out there. So if you if you partner with potentially you know someone that um, is a little bit more well known in the space, just like us, we compare our product to you know potentially a product that may be more well known in the space to show you know we're better than that product. Just because you're familiar with it doesn't mean that it's the best thing for you. Um, so yeah, just comparing. Um, different rates really, really helps. Oh, we've got time for one more. Nathaniel Turner, of Kind of Class Financial Services. I'm curious, uh, can you comment on any experience that you have working with uh, registered investment advisors or financial advisors? Uh, who are you directing the question to? I'm sorry. The, the panel itself. In, anyway. Can you repeat it again? Quite... If you've had any experience working with registered investment advisors and or financial advisors. Um, I personally haven't um, with my affiliate program. Um, you know, you, you kind of potentially get into some muddy waters when you're giving financial advice from, you know, what, what, you know, if I was going to write a blog post, I can't potentially tell you to go invest in a certain company. Um, so we haven't really looked into, you know, working with what you're describing kind of for that reason. Um, you kind of, you know, set yourself up for potentially um, you know, providing information that may not be beneficial to everyone. Uh, I don't know if anyone else. I agree with that, yes. Well, I, I guess my question is, I'm an advisor, right? So if I wanted to establish a blog site uh, so that I could provide clients with, with uh, some type of information I can't otherwise provide um, via my traditional website, uh, would you be able to work with an advisor? For example, I go out, I speak to clients, I speak to prospective clients about investing, but really, oftentimes people just need to know the basic things about how to get out of debt. That, my industry doesn't care about whether or not you get out of debt. My industry cares about whether or not I have assets in the management. So if I want to expand what I do. You mean by recommending certain products? Correct. I recommend they get out of debt first. Yeah. <laughs> That's my point. Exactly. But you can also you can also use certain products to get out of debt. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily like a coupon. count that out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> or prepaid debit card. Then why is a financial blogger want to uh, have an affiliate marketer on their site who supports payday money and Yay! Well, with credit cards, quite frankly, we uh, discourage that partnership. Uh, our philosophy is, and always has been, that we're here to help educate, um, and that's why we have over 600, almost to 1,000 editorial stories of helping people get out of that and educating them. 
Um, we've done quite a few uh, focus groups where we've had all ages, um, and I would really uh, brings to mind for me is we had a 19 year old uh, student, and he's like, I don't know why I should watch my credit report, but I know I need to, and I don't know, you know, and, and he was just learning, and it was it was an eye opener for us. So we're uh, you know we're in the business of educating and making people. Uh, and that's why, I'll be honest with you, I don't partner with uh, gambling sites. Because I'm not here to have you get another credit card to get more debt. I'm here for you to be smarter about your debt. All right, thanks guys. Thank Give it up for our panel. Yeah.